Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the steps to determine if your computer will run Windows 11 using the official PC Health Check app. And while this is a free upgrade for devices currently running Windows 10, not every hardware configuration will support it. This is because Windows 11 has a new minimum system requirements of at least Intel 8th gen or newer or AMD Ryzen 2000 or newer processor. Also, you will need 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigabytes of internal storage. This is in addition to the requirement of the trusted platform module version 2 or TPN 2.0 and secure boot, which Microsoft says is a new requirement for security. Although for many users, checking the hardware specification can be an easy task, Microsoft has also released the official PC Health Checkup that allows you to quickly find out if your computer meets all the requirements to install Windows 11. So here is how to get the PC Health Check app to determine if your computer will run Windows 11. First, you need to load this Microsoft support website and I will be leaving a link in the video description so you can follow the written instructions and you will find the link to download the app directly. And once you're on the page, under the check for compatibility section, click the download button for the app and you can save it to the computer or you can open it right away to install it. The only thing to install the application is, is to check this option to accept the license and then click the install button. Once you click finish, the app should start automatically, but if it, it doesn't, just make sure to look it up on the start menu. And this is the application and the only thing that you need to do to confirm if your computer will run Windows 11 is to click the check now button. And as you can see, uh, this computer doesn't meet the minimal requirements and that is because TPM 2.0 is no supporter or enabled on the computer. Uh, there is also a link for each requirement that is not met for Windows 11, which you can click to get more information about the problem and how to fix it. In this case, we're directed to an article that that tells you how to enable TPM 2.0. But if your computer does not have this feature, you will not be able to turn it on and you will need to get a module if that is supported on your computer or you will need a new device to install Windows 11. If you want to see the full report, you can click the see all results. And here you can see all the requirements that this particular computer has passed that would allow to install Windows 11. Now, let me just switch really quick to a device I already installed uh, Windows 11 and just want to show you how that app looks like when it passes all the system requirements checks. So let's say that your computer passes all the requirements you will get this notification giving you the news that Windows 11 can be installed on your computer. And you can click the all results button to confirm that your computer passes all the system requirements. And you know for sure that Windows 11 will be able to run on your computer. And that is all there is to it. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.